I'm Shada. Welcome to my first bullet journaling tutorial. I don't really know how I didn't get into bullet journaling for so long. I think I just thought that it was really a time consuming activity that I didn't have the time for. But recently I've been trying it out and it's actually really meditative and enjoyable. And so I wanted to share that with you guys today. Actually, I don't even know how I avoided it for so long because it's all my favorite stuff. It's like tidy sharpie lines and crossing off your to-do list and you know filing and organization. So all the good stuff in life. Um, so what I thought we would do today is I'm gonna show you around my journal and show you sort of my layout for 2018 and also for the month of January. Um, I'm a few days late on that, I know. And from now on what we'll do is we'll do our monthly layout together a few days before the start of each month. So yeah, so let's get started. So before we get into the bullet journal today, guys, I just wanted to mention that I have a new website. Um, so this is a place where I'm sharing my portfolio, my body of work, as well as a place where you guys can go to find out what's new with me and the brand. And I have Portfolio Box to thank for that new site. Now they're an in-browser software that helps creatives create really beautiful websites that put your images first. If you're a blogger, a podcaster, a makeup artist, an actor, and you have a body of work that you want to show, Portfolio Box makes it really easy to create a beautiful website that's all about those images that you value so much. So right now there's a link in the description below and you guys can get 10% off a yearly subscription to Portfolio Box. And honestly, if you've got a website to create, you could probably do it in a day with Portfolio Box. So check them out and today's video is kindly sponsored by them. All right, let's get to the bullet journal. So this is my journal and it's about seven by nine inches, which means it's quite square in format. And the important thing here is that it's dot grid paper. So if you're getting into bullet journaling, this is the type of paper that you want to search for on Amazon or whatever. The dot grid, it's not lines, it's not a graph, it's a grid of dots um, that allows you to keep things straight. You can make nice rows and columns and you don't have to worry about um, having these really harsh lines across your page. Now I actually flipped my journal upside down because I liked the, um, the larger margins across the top that were previously across the bottom um, and I'm going to actually cover it with something in the future. So. Um, so that's that, that's the journal and then just in the inside cover here I have a few little of photos that I ordered from Eternogram. They're just these sweet little photo cards and I just use some pictures from our travels and I can sort of use them as bookmarks and decorations in the journal and they just sort of help me set my, my color scheme. And then on the inside page here, I just want to point out that I've actually created my own stickers. And I know that a lot of bullet journalers enjoy using little stickers to decorate. And I think a really fun thing that you can do is actually create your own. So if you go to the dollar store or craft store, buy a sheet of plain white or craft paper stickers like I have here. And then you can just use your Sharpie or your Pigma Micron to make your own designs. So I put this is my year and I've sort of reinforced some of my um, New Year's resolutions with those stickers so that's a really fun way to decorate then inside here my first page is just my spread of the entire year so I can sort of see 2018 at a glance I haven't put in November and December yet and that's because I just wanted to show you guys how I did that I think the layout is pretty simple I've just used this sort of peachy colored marker um, to create these nice simple calendars all right, let's flip the page. So this is what I would sort of call my 2018 section. I haven't gotten into any of the monthly layout, the January layout. This is just sort of my yearly layout. So I wanna keep things nice and minimal and simple. So I'm using a bit of ripped paper here to create um, a very simple minimal collage. And then on the right uh, hand side, I've made sort of a title page for the year. For the year 2018 and I've done that by drawing a square in the middle and I use my dot grid paper to align that and then around the square I've drawn a larger rectangle and I would have done all of that in pencil and then I just took my uh, Pigma Micron some of the smaller nibs like the 01 and the 005 and I drew this very delicate uh, these very delicate floral 
and botanical illustrations. Very small and simple and you're just filling in the space. Of course, I used a little X-Acto to cut out the window. And then when you flip the page, you've got my year 2018 at a glance. So there's still that title in the middle. And then around it, I've placed, um, you know, my goals, my resolutions. I've got some words for the year, uh, like free and positive. So it's just things that I kind of want to use to inspire the year ahead. And I've got some of my YouTube goals and wish lists and things like that written down at the bottom here. Okay, and then on the next page, this is still within my sort of year at a glance. And so on the right hand side, I've got the main projects that I work on um, every day of the year. So I've got, of course, my video ideas list. I'm always coming up with new ideas for the YouTube channel. Uh, in relation to the channel, I also have my own blog. So I'm also coming up with little blog ideas. And then in the summertime, I run my own little gift shop where I sell some of my own crafts and art. So I've also got a list there of ideas of things that I want to make for the shop or work on for the shop. So this is my year's work in a very general glance. And then on the left hand side, I have a list that's easily removed. And that's my shopping list for all the things I might need to go out and grab in order to do all these crazy projects that I dream up. Okay, and then on the next page, I've just created, um, well, I've left the left hand blank and I'd like to come up with some sort of yearly tracker. I know I saw the year in pixels a lot on Pinterest, so I might try that. I haven't decided and that's sort of a project for another day, but I'd like to do some sort of tracking thing for the entire year. So if you have any ideas, comment below. And then on the right hand side, I've just done what I would call an inspirational page where I've collaged um, a bit a floral piece with some of my own print work. And I've just done a little quote there. And you can see here what I've done is I've taped the two pages together with a little piece of washi tape. And that's because I know I'm going to do a big illustration on this side. And, you know, with a large illustration, a lot of the time the ink comes through. So if you're a bullet journaler, what do you do about that? Do you tape pages together? Do you skip pages? What do you do about ink bleeding through the page? Do you buy a better journal? I don't know. So comment below and let me know. But this, now that we're on this side, this would be my January 2018 spread. So we're going to talk about the layout for the month at a glance. And then this is what my weekly spread looks like. So this is the week that we're in right now. I've got the date at the top left corner and um, all the days laid out. And then what we'll do is we'll flip the page and I'll show you how I did that layout and we'll, um, we'll do the layout for next week. But it'll be the same, but we'll just go through it together. Okay, and then before we jump into the tutorial bit, I had written down a few words that I wanted to use to sort of guide the process of creating this journal and the words were minimal. So I wanna use a lot of negative space. Neutral, I want the journal to be, you know, only certain colors, black, white, pink. And then the last word was happy. I want it to be a positive place where I want to come and, you know, dive into every day. So here's a good example of the neutral color palette. I'm using washi tapes in just black. I spent about a half hour in Staples trying to figure out which washi tapes define me. Um, and I've also got a wood grain tape that'll help bring that warmth, uh, same with the craft paper. And so it's black, white, gray, pink, and a little bit of brown. Um, and here's a good example of the negative space. This is not my layout. I took this from an, a photo on Pinterest. If you know the source, please comment below. Um, but that's a great thing about uh, bullet journaling is that we can all learn from each other but this this format this layout has a lot of negative space and I think that's what makes it work is all that blank page makes it so beautiful same here lots of white space so it's very calm and that also feeds into that happy positive place it's very you know gentle and positive and simple and clean when I look here and I've got lots of photos and quotes that make me happy now, before we move on, I just want to take a second to say two things. One, there is a super dope giveaway this week, so make sure you watch to the end of the tutorial for that. And two, thank you to everyone who's chosen to support me on Patreon. It means so much to me. And since this is the first bullet journaling tutorial, I've released two packs of digital stickers over on my Patreon site, including the junk food stickers. Yes, they're finally done. So you can go over there for $2 monthly donation. You'll get access to all 
all of the art uh, that I post there. And because this is the first journaling tutorial, I'm also releasing uh, just three of the nine junk food stickers over on my blog in the bullet journal post. You'll find the freebie download. So go check it out. Okay, so here's the tools I'm pretty much using. A couple good artist pens like a Pigma Micron or a Tripless Fine Liner from Stadler. And what I do for the January layout is I'm starting in pencil to create a calendar grid. Um, and I'll just erase all that pencil later. A nice soft gum eraser is good um, for this so that you don't get creases in your page when you erase. And you can see here I'm using my Pigma Micron to just um, mark off the, cal the corners of the calendar. And then I'm writing in abbreviated days of the week at the top and I'm just using a simple cursive lettering to do that. And then I'm going to go through and put all the numbers. Again, negative space. So each number is in its own box of a 3x3 three three grid and it has lots of white space around it. Um, I'm also going to add some important dates here at the bottom of the calendar. And you could put whatever you want in uh, sort of towards the bottom of the page. I'm going to do a schedule of the month's videos, the YouTube videos. I'm also going to track some of my stats, like how many subscribers I have on YouTube or how many followers I have on Instagram, and that'll just be fun for me to go back and look at at the end of the year. But you could add whatever you want into this bottom bit. Um, this layout I also saw from a, a photo on Pinterest, and I just fell in love with it. Um, and then what I'm going to do here is just take that marker and do a little underline. So just adding a bit of color to the page layout. And that's sort of my January 2018 at the glance. And we'll come back and we'll do our title page on the left hand side there as well. So now let's take a look at the week at a glance. Again, this is such a nice simple layout. You get to do a fun little weekly illustration there, put some notes, and you've got every day your sort of your to-do list laid out. And I'm a big fan of to-do lists. So <laughs> I was very drawn to the weekly layout. So how I'm creating this is I'm just using um, a mechanical pencil, so not a lot of smudging, easy to erase. And I'm marking the six lines. I'm not doing seven days. I'm using the weekend sort of as one day so that I have an even number of days. And I'm going along in pencil here and adding an M for Monday and a T for Tuesday, etc. And then I'm going over it with my Pigma Micron and I'm doing that faux calligraphy style for these letters. So I'm thickening each downstroke. Um, and then what I'll do is that downstroke is left white and I'll just do some very small lines to fill in. So just nice detail, but nothing too complicated. I'm also going to draw a line here for the notes. And as I always say, if you want to draw a nice straight, fairly straight line, just pull the pen towards your body. So you can't see it in the shot, but I'm actually standing to the right of the journal and would be pulling the pen towards myself. And that just helps create a line that looks fairly straight. I'll create this section for notes. So just things I want to keep in mind over the course of the week. And I've also used that pen pulling towards your body technique to draw fairly straight lines underneath all of the letters. And then I've just put a little piece of washi tape at the top there and just cut it so that it's flush with the side of the page and I just write the, the weekly date. Next, I'm just going to jump back out of the January section and go back to the yearly section and show you how I did these little calendars. So you're just writing the seven days of the week across um, each one in its own grid box. A simple underline with the month across the top and then you just write out the grid of numbers there. I mean this is pretty straightforward but just in case you were sort of like oh it looks you know complicated. It's really that dot grid paper that allows me to keep things really straight in nice rows and columns and honestly the page at a glance you would barely even see that those dots are there. And then I'm just using my nice chisel tip uh, peach marker to highlight and give some you know definition and color. And I decided to come in with a light pink marker on my January at a glance and add a little more color on this page and you could take that or leave it. 
So last thing I want to talk about here is the title page for the month and every month I'm going to do a title page on the left hand side of the monthly um, layout or the month at a glance and I'm starting this one with a nice big rectangle again negative space it always looks good and I'm writing hello January and hello is in a simple print and then January is going to be in our cursive or our folagraphy. Um, so I just practiced that in pencil once it was centered and looked the way I wanted then I went over it with my Pigma Micron and I decided to I went very bullet journaly on this I was like I'm going to be inspired by all the stuff that I see on Pinterest and on Instagram and I decided to do the cranes and for this one I just looked up pictures of paper cranes on uh, Google Images and I just copied from that and actually any line drawing any contour drawing or drawing that is just lines if you're having trouble with illustrating or you're just getting started these are really fun and easy to copy and I know I've said before on the channel one of the ways that I learned to draw when I was a kid was um, from practicing from comics so I loved Betty and Veronica and I would draw I could draw Betty so well and not right off the bat but because she's a simple line drawing once you get it you get it and it's gonna look right um, it's not ambiguous the way a photo or a still life in real life is so these cranes are really fun to draw they're just made up of lines check google images and just have your phone or the whatever print out of them right there with you and just draw from what you see i started with mine in pencil and then of course went over them in pen once i was happy with them and i'm basically going to leave you today just with the shot of me finishing my month uh, title page we'll call it <laughs> i still call everything a title page it's like i'm in grade six anyways <laughs> Guys, I also have a giveaway today, and the giveaway is for a set of Pigma Microns from Sakura. These are the best artist pens if you're doing detail work like this type that you're doing in a bullet journal. So if you would like to win them, we are running the giveaway uh, for the next week. So you have until Friday, January 12th to enter. And all the details will be in the description below. So there's lots of ways to enter this giveaway. Just check the video description for all the details. Thank you guys so much for watching today. And if you are a Patreon supporter, I just want to say thank you so much. And there's lots of new content over on Patreon, including this week, all the junk food stickers in celebration of the bullet journal. We've put out the junk food stickers. So go over there and get them now. If you're interested in all the free content on my Patreon, everything is available for a $2 monthly donation. Thanks again for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week with a new tutorial.